Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of After 5 Outdoors. This episode, I'm going to unbox something that I've been wanting to get for a long time. If you've been following my channel, last year's waterfall and turkey, you know that I hunt with a Beretta A300. Now I've wanted a Beretta A400 Extreme for a long time, but I've had a lot of other things that I've had to purchase and get, so I kind of pushed it back. Last week, I went in and I made the decision I was gonna get the A400 Extreme. And now today we're gonna unbox this. I'm gonna talk about the Beretta A400 a little bit, some of the features, give you guys a look at it. And if you have a Beretta A400, throw in the comments what you think about it. Let me know what your experience with the Beretta A400 Extreme is. So let's get this thing cut open, get it put together, and take a look at the Beretta A400 Extreme. Well, let's cut open this box, cut through this tape. See what we encounter. All right, so we got the box off. What the Beretta A400 comes in is a hard plastic case. It comes disassembled. Now the plastic case really isn't anything to write home about. It's a nice plastic case. It's, it is lockable, but it's not like it's a super strong, sturdy plastic case. All right, so let's open it up. Now everything comes in plastic. Like I said, the gun is disassembled. You're gonna have your instruction manual. You're gonna have your warranty card. Set those off to the side. Now let's work on some of this plastic. So here's the barrel. Here's the plastic right there. Receipt, don't want to lose that for sure. Here's your butt stock, your forearm. Now something interesting that I've already found, a very unique trigger lock. Or if you have small children around, it's probably a good thing to have. Mine will be in a safe, so I won't really need it. But this trigger lock's gonna screw off, which I don't really like. They could have just used a key. That I think is kind of a joke, actually. All right. Okay, they send a little gun oil. They send five chokes with this gun. We'll talk about that here in a minute. So let me put this thing together real quick and we'll talk about what I see in the Beretta A400 Extreme. Literally that simple, very, very easy to take down and put back together. All right, here it is. I have been waiting for this day for a long time. Well, like I said, I've been waterfall hunting uh, for the past six years with the Beretta A300. I've had really good luck with it. There's really not really any reason for me to upgrade other than I really want to. And my Beretta A300 has some sentimental value. Uh, so I kind of, I've already lost the A300 over the boat once and luckily found it back in a slew. So I kind of want to put that one away and I really wanted an A400 for quite a while. All right, so this A400 is a 12 gauge. This is a 28 inch barrel, the one that I chose. It's in the dark timber pattern. It weighs just under eight pounds. It weighs about seven pounds, eight ounces. And your trigger pull is about five and a quarter pounds. Now the Beretta A400 was introduced back in 2018, so it's been around for a while. There's a lot of good reviews on them. A lot of guys like them. And of course there's some guys that don't like them, but it, functionability and reliability has been pretty good from what I've read about the Beretta A400. Now I've got good experience with the customer service from Beretta. If you check out my Beretta A300 video, I'll tell you about an incident that I had that Beretta really took care of me and that has made a difference. And that's why I don't use anything other than Beretta typically. Now the Beretta A400, it's a gas gun, it is not inertia. And the Breda A400 Extreme Plus is a three and a half inch. So I don't shoot three and a half, or like I've never shot three and a half, I guess, but I've always had three inch guns. I probably won't go to three and a half inch. Probably I'm gonna stick with three inch. Normally for waterfall, I shoot three inch number two. And for geese, I usually use three inch uh, BBs. So I don't know that I'll go to three and a half, but I guess we'll see. 
Now let's talk about chokes a little bit. The Beretta comes with five different chokes. Now, if you're going to get like a Pattern Master or a Carlson's choke for waterfall or turkey, uh, be cognizant that this takes the Optima choke system. Apparently there's two different choke systems for Beretta shotguns and this one takes the Optima. Now the five chokes it comes with, it comes with a full, it comes with a modified, an improved modified, an improved cylinder, and an improved. Now make sure if you're not going aftermarket chokes, you're gonna use the Beretta chokes, you cannot shoot steel shot through the full or the improved modified chokes. So make sure that you don't shoot steel through the full or the improved modified. Now I think I'm gonna probably get an aftermarket choke. I'll probably do a video just testing some of these chokes just to see what they do. But I think for waterfall, I'll probably end up getting a, a aftermarket choke. And for turkey hunting, I think I'll do the same. Now the A400 has a new rotating bolt head and a new gas valve, and that keeps powder gas from leaking out. And the Beretta says that this shotgun will actually cycle 36% faster than other shotguns. So Beretta also says that it, re it reduces the gas that gets into your action by about 50%, thus you don't have to clean your shotgun as often. Now another thing about the Beretta A400 Extreme Plus, if you're a turkey hunter like I am, it's drilled and tapped. If you wanna put a scope on, you wanna put a red dot on, super easy to attach those. Now when you're waterfall hunting in cold weather, you're hunting in icy water, you're gonna be wearing gloves a lot. So your loading port has been enlarged a little bit to deal with gloved hands. Your charging handle is also extended and also an oversized bolt release, super handy too. Now the one thing that I did notice is a little bit different is the safety on the Beretta A400 is at the front of the trigger guard instead of the rear where it normally is. So normally you're hitting your thumb, you're raising your shotgun, but now it's up in the front. So that's gonna take a little getting used to. However, still hit it with your thumb or your trigger finger before you're getting ready to shoulder and shoot. Now your mag capacity is four. It does come with a plug that'll make your mag capacity two. One thing you wanna check, uh, you know, water falling, you can only hold three. So make sure, I haven't checked it yet. Make sure that the plug will keep three, two and three quarter inch shells out. All right, so for you waterfall hunters, target shooters, or, or just if you shoot a shotgun a lot, Beretta's come up with a new recoil dampening system. It's called the Kickoff. Now with a hydraulic dampener in actually in the buttstock here, when you shoot this gun, it act, the buttstock actually is going to soak up some of the recoil. Now I've heard that I've heard them say that it actually takes out up to 70%. Another thing, just like the Beretta A300 in your buttstock here, there's a spacer. You can put extra spacers in or take them out. Whether you want to make the buttstock a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. Now right out of the box, I'm six foot five. I've got pretty long arms. Shouldering the shotgun right now, the way it's out of the box is absolutely perfect. Another thing Beretta did: rubberized grips. When it's cold, you know, obviously if you're hunting ducks, your gloves are gonna be wet most of the time. You got just a little bit of extra friction here to keep this thing in your, in your hands nice and tight. Now the Beretta A300 kind of had some checkering as the A400 really doesn't. And I mean, it's not like you're gonna drop your gun, but it's just kind of a nice little added, added bonus and it feels pretty good in your hand. Now, as I'm looking down the sights, you have a raised rib which is really nice. We've got a small bead here, center of the uh, rib, and at the end you have a fiber optic uh, little dot. Now, I am not a huge fiber optic fan. I, on my A300, I love that gold BB on the end. This fiber optic, I actually don't mind it so bad. That's just my opinion. Maybe I've got a, a quirk how I like the old BB on there, but whatever. Just a little bit that I've held this thing, I, I really like the way it feels. I like the way it hold, handles. I can't wait to get out and shoot it. So overall, here's what you get with the Breda. Obviously you get the shotgun. You'll get five chokes, your choke wrench, you'll get a plug, you get a lock that really isn't worth uh, 20 cents to me. You'll get a green plastic hard case that for travel, yeah, it's not, not so bad. This gun is super easy to take down. So that green case will work like if you're gonna travel a long ways or whatever, trying to save space in your car for whatever reason. Now the A400 is gonna come in four different camo patterns. It's gonna come in Max 5, Mossy Oak Bottomland, a timber pattern, which is what I have, or just in synthetic black. Now let's talk about the important thing, money. This shotgun is on the expensive side. Uh, five or six, year, six years ago rather, when I bought my A300, I paid about 700 bucks or a little over $700 for that shotgun. Like I said, I've used it for six years. I've used it hard. It's been basically through hell and back. So best $700 I ever spent. I absolutely love the shotgun. 
the Beretta A400 Extreme Plus is going to run you about $1749. Now there was a sale on this, I got it for $1649, which is another reason why I kind of jumped on it. So it is a little bit on the more expensive side, but with my experience with Beretta, I know that they're worth it. I've had really good luck with my A300 and I anticipate having really good luck with my A400. But I'm gonna get out and test it. I'm gonna get out and shoot some rounds. In the next couple weeks, I'll, have, I'll put out a video of shooting the shotgun, breaking it in. Probably test out these chokes for the fun of it. And actually, waterfall season isn't that far away here in Minnesota. And I'm really getting excited to get out and bust some ducks and geese with the new Beretta A400. All right, so that's the quick unboxing and basically put together of the Beretta A400 Extreme Plus. A lot to say there. Maybe I'll just call it the Beretta EP. If you're on the fence about Beretta products, my experience, I've been shooting them for over six years now. They've never let me down. I've been real impressed with them. Impressed enough to buy another one. Anyways, hope you like this video. Hey, if you're a Beretta owner from the A400, the A300, or any Beretta product, let me know your opinion and your experience down in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And as always, I hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.